Hi, Brielle. Hi, how are you? I'm well. It's um, a, really an honor and a pleasure to meet you. I know you too. It's such a such a gift in the last week with um, a little bit of background. Uh, so, uh, Masami, uh, truly beautiful, vegan hair care, cruelty yeah. free. We did gift guides, and one of them was vegan cuts. And uh, just briefly, tell me how you how you uh, came across. Found out about it. I did have um, I did receive the beauty box from Vegan Cuts. And I was obsessed with the serum off the bat. I was like, what is this? I need this. There better be more product. So I went um, real quick online and I messaged whoever I sent the message to through Instagram and they directed me how to order. And that's put us in um, contact, which I'm so happy about. I got the samples. I ordered um, the whole line. I can't wait to carry it here. Um, I'm plant-based, vegan, everything. So the fact that that had the seaweed, all the stuff that I wanted in it, I think it's perfect. Um, it really represents a lot of the things that I stand for and care about and also um, the salon. That's wonderful. Yes. So I I really wanted to ask you, um, it's been very difficult the last two months, two and a half yes. months. could be longer. Um I don't know about you, but I've been inside for probably uh, 65, close to 70 days Wow. on purpose because the gym shut down and I said, there's just no way I'm going out anymore. And yeah. I just don't want to risk anything. So how are you doing? How is your mood these days? Obviously, this is definitely um, a devastating time. Um, but I tried to stay positive. I'm overall happy, doing well. Same, I know what you mean, the gyms are closed down. Um, you just gotta find things to keep your mind and body occupied. And even though horrible things are going on, you have to try to focus on the positives and just every situation in your life, just try to flip it into a positive and yeah. just try to look at it the best way you can. Agreed, you know, so. completely. That's how I'm doing, yeah. And do you, um, I'm sure you've been thinking about this, but do you think that uh, salons, I mean, you're more, uh, you're more advanced than a lot of, uh, a lot of salons in the industry, as far as where you're going with your, 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 your mission and your branding um, for, for uh, vegan and more natural and clean as you can get down the road and sustainability, which we are as well. But do you see salons, what do you see happening in terms of innovation as a result of us going through COVID-19 and being so isolated at home. Did you, are you opening your salon tomorrow? Well, I I personally have been doing one-on-one -on -one appointments. Um, we're not, I don't, I, we're, I'm located in Pennsylvania, right outside of Philadelphia, and I'm pretty sure that they allowed, they're allowing um, the opening to start May 8th. Um, so that's probably when everything will open and people will feel safe going out. Um, well, like I said, I personally have just been doing people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I think that this um, instance will, can't stress enough how important um, natural, safe, clean products are. Um, it really, really, really is going to have a better impact over, over your whole body, you know, especially, you know, your hair, beauty, all that. It's really, really important. I couldn't stress that enough. So hopefully this um, will definitely push people towards that. As far as a lot of the other salons, like innovating with any technology and stuff, I always said that us as stylists, like you, a person can't pay a computer to do what we do. Um, it's totally personable, one-on-one, -on -one, and that's something that, like I said, no machine or computer will be ever will ever be able to do. Um, I think you have to take precautions. You might need more time to sterilize, clean, disinfect. But um, if so, you know, just do it slowly, one at a time, and just um, clean in that matter, and I think everything will be okay. I, I, I tend to agree with you. It's also a lot of, uh, we're already going through all this change at home, so I think that if we listen um, to what we're being told to do, and we're yeah. very conscious and focused of it, about it, um, and your, your salon looks quite big from what I could see, so spacing <laughs> out the customers, if you yeah. need to space out customers, and... Um, Will you be wearing masks and will you be wearing um, uh, something to cover you when you're doing hair or, or are you not going to take it that extreme? So I'm not going to take the mask that extreme. I mean, we have air purifiers and we pump in anti-viral 
um, essential oils into there already. Um, okay. Plus, just with talking, that's a little bit hard. But we do wear gloves. We wear aprons. Our hair is usually pulled back. So things like that, I think, will be okay. But at the same time, I guess you have to see what your client is comfortable with. You there know? you go. Right. You just have to. You're gonna have to adapt to it and see what they're comfortable with. And that's one of the most. That's one of the best things about creativity, and yeah. artists like yourself. You, we're all ready to change. We're all ready to yeah. adapt. So. Yep. So, uh, what would be during this time your um, best at home hair? Hair tip. Okay. As you can see, um, my hair is white blonde. Um, I specialize Gorgeous. in that. I Gorgeous. tell everyone, thank you. I tell everyone, if you're at home and you don't have to be in public, don't wash your hair, get some conditioner or oil, put it in the ends, grease it up, and just let it sit in there. Your hair will absorb all that nutrient. Um, like I said, if you're not going out and you don't care how it looks, definitely take advantage of that. Yep. Super. So at the end of it, you've been dabbling back and forth into your salon here and there to keep business going with, cert with certain clients, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to when you can, when you can be back in the salon regularly? What I is can't wait. I know. I really can't wait for it. Um, I like my favorite thing is when I walk in the door. And by the way, I have a lot of animals. I usually bring them with me. I have bunnies and dogs, ducks, everything. So one of the bunnies is with me. One of the dogs and the duck I bring back and forth. When I walk in here and see a full salon, people in here, the staff, the animals, it's like a really, really laid back, friendly atmosphere. Everyone likes. And you feel like you're in this Terrence, like, in another bohemian island. It's a different feel, different vibe, and everyone really appreciates that. So I'm just so excited to get um, that feeling back. You know, yeah. it's just like spreading good vibes. That's what I like. And it's like a family. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Likewise, me neither. Yeah. Things will shift yeah. soon. They the will, meantime, it'll all be for the better. In the meantime, how's, how, how are you in communication with all of your clients? Um, yeah, we've been are talking. They, are they them. calling you for tips or? Yeah. You to open um, <laughs> I know everyone's dying. They're sending me pictures. It's crazy. Um, yeah, like I said, there. I mean, a lot of our clients, their life hasn't really changed. We have a lot of nurses. You know, they're still working, and God bless them. God bless uh, them. A lot of a lot of their life has not changed. I guess. Um, yes. So we pushed everyone back, and yeah, I would say starting mid May on, I think it's going to be crazy. That's wonderful. It's such yeah. it's such good thing to hear. On that yeah. note, on that note, I really want to thank you for this opportunity. And um, yes, we'll be we will be doing uh, a series. So okay. there, will, there will be an evolving to another one. Um, but it will be more about where where you're currently at in that time frame, because sure. this is super important. I think to share out to your customer, but yeah. also to share out professionally to the world, uh -huh. and let everybody know what we're doing and also yeah. what we're partnering with together yeah so i look forward to the present and i really look forward to the future with you me too look thank you because we do this you. now because we can't do anything else i know right <laughs> thank you have a very good day and have a good week you too i'll speak to you soon yes all right bye bye